everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a collective haul for the month of June 2022. Now I did a collective haul in May and I'm like, oh, I don't like buy a lot of stuff. And then I'm like, actually I've kind of bought enough stuff to do another collective haul this month. I know you guys really enjoyed it. I had problems with uploading it, so it probably didn't get as many views as I meant to. So hopefully this time I won't upload it at 4.30 a.m. instead of p.m. But I've had some really awesome finds this month and wanted to share them with you guys. Now, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Katrina and I am a Sunbox lover. Normally here on my channel, I unbox lots of subscription boxes, but I also do things like hauls and lifestyle videos. So if you're into that, go ahead and subscribe and join this Sunbox lover family. And without further ado, let's jump into the haul. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna start doing these collective hauls monthly. I think it will just depend month to month whether I'm being good or being bad. And apparently in June, I'm being bad. And now some of the stuff here are repurchases of things that I constantly repurchase. And then some things are like brand new things. So I'm super excited to share all that with you guys. But before we jump into that, I wanted to share with you Kenko. Now I've actually purchased smoothies from Kenko in the past, like years ago, but they reached out to me and wanted to send this to me. And I honestly, I love these and I'm so excited to share them with you guys. Now, if you don't know what Kenko is, it is a smoothie subscription um, where you have these little smoothie packets that are dried fruits that make nourishment super duper easy for people with a busy life. Now, me personally, I am busy and I'm also lazy and I've not as been as healthy as I wanted to be. And so I'm actually really excited to kind of get back into Kenko. So each of their instant smoothie packages, which I will show you in a second, comes with 2.5 servings of 100% organic fruits and vegetables. Now, the daily recommended amount is five servings, so that gives you half of your servings in one little packet, you know, if you want it for breakfast or kind of a snack throughout the day. The only ingredients that they use are organic plants, so there are not added sugars, sweeteners, colors, flavors, enhancers, preservatives, emulsifier, emulsifiers, or fillers, so it's all good stuff. My favorite thing is that they're convenient, so you can make them in under a minute. Um, you don't need a blender or a freezer or anything. You just mix the powder with your liquid of choice. You can do water. You can do a plant-based milk. I guess you could do a regular milk. I typically do mine with almond milk. So I'm going to mix one here in a second with almond milk. One thing that's become really important to me is sustainability and they are certified B Corporation. So they're committed to using the power of business to build a more sustainable economy. You know, a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables go to waste. So if you're trying to make a fresh smoothie every day and you're buying these fruits and veggies and things, a lot of times, realistically, and you know, it's true, they're wilting or dying in your fridge or pantry and you end up having to throw some away. So this also helps with food waste because it is shelf stable and it can be used at any time and doesn't go bad the way or as quick as these fresh fruits and veggies do. They also use zero single use plastic and all paper and cardboard elements are also recyclable and their shipping is carbon neutral. So when you open it up, this is what it looks like. Their packaging is just, I love it. It's so neutral and pretty. Then there is the bottle. This is it here. I think you have to purchase this separately, but it's totally worth purchasing because it it makes things super easy. I love the bottle. Now, when I got this years ago, it was a different bottle. This one feels really, really nice. This is dishwasher safe and BPA free. Y'all know I love a good dishwasher safe moment. Very, very cool. And then you get your little box with your smoothies inside. When you open it up, oh, it has my name on it. I love that. Hi, Katrina. And it has all of my smoothies inside. So as you can see, there is the like freeze dried type fruit inside. It tells you about like what is inside of each one. So this is the peaches smoothie. I got four, no five. I think you get five of each in this one. So I got five peaches smoothies. This one has a half a peach, a third of a carrot, a half a stock of rhubarb, three strawberries, slice of sweet potato, two grams of coconut water, 1.5 grams of baobab powder, 1.5 grams of flax seeds, all organic, all the fiber, nothing else. And then it tells you what it's good for. So skin health, um, vitamin A for eyes, vitamin C for skin, electrolytes for fluid balance. So that is so awesome. There's so much information on that. Then we get five of the purples. Um, so this one has five strawberries, three blackberries, six blueberries, two raspberries, two cranberries, a half a banana, a half a date. This one's good for anti-inflammatory, polyphenols for gut health, and magnesium for your metabolism. Very cool. So you get five of those. So as you see, super easy and convenient. You just pop this in your bag. Then we got five of the green smoothies. So this has five spinach leaves, four kale leaves, a half a kiwi, a slice of pineapple, a half an apple, a third of a banana, 
0.5 of ginger. This is an energy surge, so it helps fatigue fighting iron. Um, it has ginger for gut health and anti-inflammatory and complex carbs to fuel active bodies. And last but not least, we have the Crimson's. Um, this has six acai berries, a third of a banana, three strawberries, a fourth an apple, a fourth of a mango, one gram of chia seeds, and 0.5 grams of cinnamon. This is a brain boost. It's for cognitive fun function. Um, it also has vitamin C for healthy cells and gut-friendly fibers. Now, these are the four different types of smoothies. I got five of each. There are so many other ones. So if you're like, mm, I'm not sure about those, like definitely go check out their website. There are so many fun blends that you can get. Um, I think today I'm going to make the green one because I'm supposed to be going on a walk with my dad later. And so I feel like I need like that energy kind of to fuel me. So we're going to make a green one today. So all you need is this, this, and your liquid of choice. If you're going to do water, it's super easy because you can just fill up at like a water bottle station in the office or anywhere else. Otherwise you could probably fill your liquid beforehand. You'll fill your liquid up to the mix liquid line or the mix liquid line, the max liquid line. So today I'm going with unsweetened almond milk and I'm just going to fill it up to the max liquid line. It's like so simple. Now on the inside of the lid here, you do see that there is the um, filter there to keep all the gunk from getting to the top. And then you also have the um, cap to open it and it is attached so that it doesn't go flying anywhere. So that's kind of <laughs> what that looks like, but you don't need that. You basically just pour the contents of this in here and then you shake it up. Close the lid. I mean, the aesthetic of this is just everything y'all. And it has like a soft touch to it. And then you just shake it well to and leave to rehydrate for like 30 to 60 seconds. All right, so I'm going to untwist it and taste this smoothie. Mmm, I like it. It's not sweet. If you're somebody who prefers something sweet since they don't have any added sugars in this, I would recommend putting like a sweetened almond milk or whatever you know your your milk of choice is. I'd put sweetener in it, but. I love it. It's super healthy. It helps you get your nutrients in. I can't wait to drink the rest of this because I haven't eaten a lot today. And this, I, I like the way that the green one tastes. I remember the green one from before and I knew that I liked the way it tastes. Now this doesn't taste like candy. I'm going to be honest. It does taste good. It tastes healthy. It doesn't taste, you're not going to like, it's not like you like have a super sweet sugary thing because it doesn't have that in it, but it's healthy and it's good. And personally, I like the taste. So if you're interested in trying Kenko, I am going to leave a link down in the description box below in case you want to sign up for their smoothie subscription. I'm so excited to introduce this probably. I'm probably going to have this more in the morning time um, and add this to my routine so that I can be a little bit healthier and get my servings of fruit and veggies in my body. All right. Now that was obviously sent to me for you for review. I honestly think I'll probably start to get these again, like start buying them again because I actually forgot how much I love them. But the first thing that I bought in this haul is from Sol de Janeiro. So if you remember from last month's collective haul, I got really excited and bought one of their new creams. And in the package, it was like the floor to whatever, the light pink one. And I loved the lotion. Now in that, I got a sample of the Bomb Dia Bright Cream. I tried it and oh my gosh, it smells so good. So I had to go place another order on Sol de Janeiro and I spent like $110 and here we are. So first of all, I got the Bomb Dia Bright Cream. This, I, I love the floor scent or whatever, the flowery light pink one. This one is like, this, I, I'm obsessed with this scent. It's their luxurious, nice body cream if you've ever used it before. I know a lot of people like the Boom Boom Cream. This one is like fruity, sexy, feminine. I know, I know I use those all the time, but like, this just smells so good. Oh wait, I think it has scent descriptions somewhere. Um, so the scent descriptions are black, amber, plum, and vanilla woods. So that's kind of what it smells like. I love it. It smells so good. It smells so summery, but also can like translate to fall winter. Um, and this is infused with renewing fruit AHAs and vitamin C. Um, this is their like number 40 fragrance or whatever. And I am obsessed like so obsessed with the scent. I'm so obsessed that I actually, with this package as my sample, chose this as the sample. Now, I didn't just buy that. <laughs> I was a little bit naughty and I bought the body sprays as well. So I obviously love the floor spray. That's scent number 68. So I got the body spray and this, this one like leaked a little bit. So some of like the packaging came undone, but it didn't leak bad. Um, so I got this. So that's what it looks like. Oh, this just smells so florally and sexy and feminine. 
um, and this is what it looks like. And then the Bomb Dia Bright version I also got, which is the scent number 40. Same type of packaging, it's just obviously a little bit different color of pink. Now I sprayed this and this is a bot. I would recommend Sol de Janeiro's body sprays because I think they're like $30, which is expensive for a body spray, but hear me out. It lasts more like a perfume, like a light perfume. It lasted like all day. Like my sister's like, something smells good. I'm like, oh yeah, that's this. And like, it's, it's, it stayed with me all day. I feel like a lot of times with body sprays, you spray it and initially you smell it and then like it's gone and it ne you never smell it again until you respray. But like this actually lasts and I highly, highly recommend it. I haven't worn it a ton because I'm not a huge fragrance person, but I'm like, I definitely need the spray of this. I'm like, well, while I'm ordering, if I'm gonna get free shipping, I might as well do this worst ploy ever, but um, I kind of treated myself, this was like 110 or $116, whoopsie, but um, I am obsessed with the number 40 scent. This is my favorite scent that they have. Um, so if you're looking for something, if you're trying to be like budget friendly, out of everything that I've gotten, I would go with the number 40 spray. If you're more of a floral gal, then maybe go with the number 68 spray, but like I love this. Um, this is cheaper than the lotion and you can this is gonna last longer than the lotion probably so this is um, what I would personally go for um, If you do want to treat yourself and you like these scents, so I like this better than boom boom cream I love the smell of boom boom cream, but maybe my sister has a perfume and so I associate that scent with her now So this is now my scent. All right now the next thing that I got is from Old Navy My sister and I were shopping at an Old Navy recently and I saw these shoes now I like to wear flats when I am in the office, um, I'm not a heels gal. I have two different size feet. I have a seven and a half and an eight size foot. So heels are always really hard, but flats I can make work. And I love like a pointy toe flat. And so I bought these and they're made of this like really comfortable material. Now they kind of look like n Rothy's knockoffs. If you've seen like Rothy's, those are like way expensive. These were like 30 bucks a pair or 35 maybe. So I bought these in store and then I wore them and I'm like, these are so comfortable. When you have two different size feet, sometimes one will be cutting in, but because this is more of like a fabric-y material, they're super duper comfortable. They have like the cushioning at the bottom. So nice. Now I did buy them in a size eight in store. They did not have any half sizes. Um, so I just went ahead and did the eight. I tried them on and I'm like, yeah, these fit. So I got these, wore them around and loved them. And I'm like, do they have them in other colors? Which is like, if I find something I love, I have to check if they have it in other colors and they do. So then I placed an online order and I got two more pairs. They had them in two other colors. So they have them in this kind of like mustard color. I do have a blazer that's like in this exact color. So I'm like, ooh, if I do like the blazer and the matching shoes, like that'll be a super cute moment. And then they also have them in black as well. So <laughs> three pairs of shoes online. They had like a deal or a sale. So and Old Navy is always weird like that. Like sometimes it's just cheaper to buy online because you get the sales that they don't have in the stores. And I got like Old Navy cash. So who knows if I'm going to use that in July when it's available or not. But I got three pairs of super cute, super comfortable flats that I would highly recommend. Now I'm gonna link everything that I can down in the description box below. So hopefully those shoes are still available and I will just link them in case you want to buy some. All right, next up is a repurchase. This is a staple item for me and it is from Briogeo. Um, this is their Farewell Frizz Blow Dry Perfection and Heat Protectant Cream. Now, Briogeo is a brand that I learned about in subscription boxes. In fact, way back when I had like barely any subscription boxes, I got the FabFitFun Welcome Box and I got like the spray version of this or like their spray heat protectant cream. Well, it was a spray from Briogeo. It has the same scent. And so this scent is so nostalgic for me. This like, I associate the scent of this to subscription boxes because I was so excited. I didn't have my channel at the time. This was me, you know, before all of this. And I was so excited and like that excitement I live for. Um, and so I love this stuff. Um, I sometimes heat style my hair to give it the little curl in or if I need to blow dry it cause I need to go somewhere really quickly. And when I do, I take like a pea size amount of this or a little bit more and just run it through my hair. Um, my hair, while it's like flat and straight and this is pretty natural other than the fact that I curled it in, um, can get frizzy sometimes, particularly if it's still a little bit wet. Um, and so I like to use this and it also has the heat protectant in it. So I personally really like this. I love the scent. 
Mm, so I was at Nulta and went ahead and pick it up. I know you can get it at Ulta. You might be able to get it at Sephora. I'm not really sure, or obviously directly from Briogeo, but I am a huge fan of this product. Okay, we have a couple more repurchases. The next one is from Benefit. Well, I don't know if this is next necessarily a, well, I think it is a repurchase. This is their Goof Proof Brow Pencil. I got mine in the shade Warm Light Brown, number three. I got, I love the Benefit Brow things. I'm actually using it today. Not this one, but the other one that I have now. I got one in a subscription box and it had the powder or the on the other end, but it has this pencil on the top of it. And I like that I don't need the powder, but the pencil is what I love. So this is what it looks like. I have owned this pen before, but basically it's just, I don't want to totally, you know, go up with it, but it's just like a little brow pen that you fill in your brows with. For me, that's what I need for my brows is just to kind of fill them in and pomade them down a little bit. It does have a little spoolie at the other end. I don't normally use this spoolie because I do usually gel down my brows because they have the longer hair. So I'm a huge fan. This is my go-to. This is always what I have in my brows. I love this stuff so, so much. Um, and I don't know if I originally got this. I feel like I originally might have found this in a subscription box as well. I feel like I got it in a play by Sephora um, way back when that subscription box existed. But I just, I love this stuff. I try other brow stuff and I'm like, no, I actually really like the Benefit brow pencil. So went ahead and ordered another one of those because the other one that I have is like almost at its very end. So another repurchase is from Thrive Cosmetics. Now I'm normally not somebody to repurchase a mascara but this one I had to. So um, this is their hybrid, no, that definitely says liquid, whoopsie, liquid lash extensions mascara. Um, I got mine in the shade Brin, which is their rich black and has orchid stem cell complex. So this is what it looks like here. So this is the one that I've been using. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this one up and it's got like a nice synthetic wand there. Nice packaging too, it's like a hefty, feel to it feels heavy and feels nice quality but the reason why i love this mascara is a tubing mascara and so when you take off the mascara it comes off in little tubes and for me it's just better it looks really great on the lashes one and two you know sometimes i have to film videos at night before i'm going to bed after work and I don't want to wake up with raccoon eyes because I couldn't get all the mascara off. And I just find the tubing mascara is so much easier to clear off the eyes. And so I find this a staple filming mascara or a mascara where like, I know I'm going to get home late and I just don't want to have all that mascara on my face the next day because it's, it's hard to get off mascara. Um, and so personally, I am just obsessed with this. Also Thrive Cosmetics donates to good causes with some of the money that you pay for the product. So big fan of that, huge fan of this mascara. All right, another repurchase favorite for me is this here. This is from Paul Mitchell and this is their Platinum Blonde Shampoo. I have blonde hair. It is dyed blonde hair and when you get towards the end, which I'm starting to get there where I'm about to get re-dyed here soon, um, it's nice to have a Platinum Blonde Shampoo like this. This is a purple shampoo so it helps neutralize brassiness and cools the hair down. Um, so I always like to have this in my shower. This is my favorite purple shampoo that I've used. Um, it's really, really nice. It has like a, um, it smells like cucumbers. It smells really, really nice. It is purple. I don't really want to spill this, but it is purple. Um, I'm currently kind of towards the end of my bottle. So I went ahead and repurchased this. I don't use this all the time. I use this maybe like once a week ish. Um, so really, really love this purple shampoo. So if you're somebody with blonde hair or gray or white hair, um, I do recommend this purple shampoo and it's pretty affordable as well. I got it on Amazon. Okay. The next thing I also got on Amazon, this is not a beauty product y'all. This is just a real life thing in the summers. I feel like I always get fruit flies. It might be because I like to buy new plants and then sometimes, you know, they get introduced through the soil or through the plant itself. Um, and I get really annoyed with fruit flies. So I buy these from Amazon. These are little fruit fly stickies. I'll try to link them down below. It comes in a pack that has like these shape and this shape. Um, so the way it works is that on both sides, it has this little paper and you peel it off on both sides and then you stick it into your plant and the flies fly into it and get caught on it. And yeah, um, for me, this is a really great way to help manage that um, because otherwise they make babies and then there's a million fruit flies and it's the most annoying, annoying thing in the entire universe. So for me, these have been a staple. I've used these for years. Um, if you have other recommendations to get rid of fruit flies, please let me know, but these have been a really great one for me. So I highly, highly, highly recommend those if you have fruit flies. 
So up next we have a product from EcoTools and this is their makeup brush and sponge shampoo. I use this to wash my makeup brushes. Now this is, I guess, a repurchase, but the one that I got before had different packaging, so I don't know if it's completely different or not, or if it's, this is just updated packaging. I'm not really sure. I haven't used this one yet, so I'll have to let you know once I use it. Um, but I really like this. It's one of the more affordable, you know, brush shampoos. I don't want to spend a lot of money on a brush shampoo, but um, super affordable. I think I got this one on Amazon as well. Um, and I don't know, it's worked really, really good. It doesn't leave like that sticky film. Like I've used brush cleaner before and I'm just like, I don't like it though. It's making them not feel soft. You know what I mean? Um, now this one, like I said, is different packaging. So I don't know if it's different or not. So maybe I won't like this one. I don't know, but I know the other one was Eco Tools, and it takes me forever to get through one of these. So we shall see how this goes. All right, now the next few items are splurge items and tech items. The first one I haven't even taken out of the package yet, but it is an external hard drive. This is one of the lacy ones, the rugged mini. This is a two terabyte one. Um, I want to start storing some of the files for these videos off of my computer. I'm also debating, I currently edit an iMovie, nothing fancy, but I'm debating dropping the $300 on getting Final Cut. Now I even need to learn Final Cut if I wanna do that, but in Final Cut, you can edit off of files that are on an external hard drive, so you can do things a little bit differently and everything can be off of your computer so your computer does not run as slowly. So I'm seriously seriously debating doing that, but went ahead and got this hard drive. I think this is like a hundred bucks. Um, but uh, figured I'd go ahead and get this. I feel like it's a must have if you're doing, you know, you have a lot of content. I have a lot and lot, a lot of video files and things like that. So um, wanted a place to be able to store that. That is not my computer. Now up next is my real splurge product of the month and it is the GoPro Hero 10. Um, now I got this because I'm going to Germany here soon and I'm like, I could get some really, really awesome footage and I feel like a GoPro would be the thing that would capture that the best. So I got the GoPro Hero 10. This is it here, it's super cool. It has a screen on the front and the back. So depending on how you're going to film, um, I have not played around with it a ton yet because I just got it, but I'm so excited. I think I'm gonna be able to get some really awesome footage when I'm in Germany and things like that. It was like $100 off when I got it at Best Buy. So it was a pretty good deal. Um, so I'm super excited. This is not like, I'm not gonna film like constantly on my channel with this, but I feel like it'll be so much fun to play around with it. I'll get some really cool footage on the Baltic Sea when I'm there. I also got like the platinum gear kit, which comes with like all these different things, a case. So this has like the head thing, the chest thing, so that I have different mounts and different things that I can do with it when I'm there. So I'm, I'm excited. That's like a treat myself, fun thing to do. I hope that I'll be able to show you some really awesome footage um, from that here in the future. And I don't know, a little bit tech nerdy about it. I also got, I haven't opened this yet, but I did get, you do need to like one of the uh, micro SD cards. So I got a 256 gigabyte one. Um, this was on sale when I got it, so I went ahead and snagged it um, for a little bit cheaper. So got that to go into the GoPro to get some really awesome Germany footage. All right, so that is everything in my collective haul. I always think these videos are not gonna be as long as they are, and then they end up being really, really long. And like I said, I don't know if I'll be doing this every month or not. Let me know down in the comments below. Do you like these collective hauls? Do you want to see them every month? And, and or do you wanna see them as frequently as I'm able to post them? Definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What did you think of the products that I shared in this video? Do you like them? Have you tried them? Definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, and I'll see you in my next video.